David 3D Scanner Tutorials Tutorial 4 Scanning and Texturing In this tutorial we will show you how to scan with a David SLS scanner. We assume you have prepared and calibrated the scanner as shown in the previous tutorials. This means the projector is showing a pattern, the David software shows the live camera image and you have not modified the scanner after calibration. Simply place the object in front of the scanner at the same distance as during setup. The projection will be well in focus on the object's surface and the camera will have a good view of the object. If necessary, you can move and tilt the scanner as a whole to aim it at the object. However, do not reconfigure the scanner or change the focus, otherwise you will have to repeat the calibration. Now open the scanning menu and look closely at the live camera image. It should show the object well in focus and like before, the sine waves should not be cut off at the blue borders. If necessary, adjust the projector brightness slider, but do not touch the lens dials. When the camera image looks like this, click start and wait a few seconds. David will project a series of patterns and colors, then show the 3D scan result on the screen. You can use the mouse to inspect your scan result. Press and hold the right mouse button to rotate the view. If you do this with the mouse pointer outside the white circle, the view will rotate around the view axis. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out and press and hold the left mouse button to move the view. If you want to look closer at a certain region, mark it with a short click of the right mouse button, then rotation and zooming will focus on that region. To zoom back to the entire model, click Scan. And to switch back to the live camera image, click Live. You can save your scan result as an OBJ file at any time. Also, if you should want to collect several scans of the same object, in the software click on Add to List. You can then align and fuse them into a complete 360 degree model, which we will explain in the next tutorial. David can also grab textures to create colored 3D models. Activate the Grab Texture function next to the Start button. This will create a colored texture with each scan. In the 3D view, you can toggle the texture on and off with the respective button. The next tutorial will show you how to align and fuse several scans into a complete 360 degree mesh. Also, please take a few minutes and watch the scanning tips tutorial. There we will show a few helpful tricks to facilitate and optimize the scanning procedure.